And, and forgive me, I believe the teachers, I'm not sure if they're teaching or not today, but our young people, you're excused. Amen. If the teachers are teaching today, praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Forgive me for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory, Hallelujah. To Glory, to Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Good job, Pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. God Praise is good. The Lord. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Yes. yes, he is. Whoa. Glory, glory. What a good God. God, okay. Let's, let's pray before we get started. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Your word is anointed. And we thank you today for the integrity of your word. And we thank you today for the person of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you're doing in this place, doing in the lives of your children. They are your inheritance in the earth. And so, Father, we thank you. We pray for light. We pray that we be flooded with light. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every demonic force hey, we decree yes, today by the power of God, you must flee and you must go. Hey, 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 we declare today hey, that every son and daughter that's been held captive must be set free now. in the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you the praise and we give you glory for it now in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God wants somebody to know today that everything that has held you captive has to set you free. Hallelujah! Uh -huh. see, see I, I said that and I wasn't trying to be funny. I am very serious. Everything that has tried to hold you captive, on, you, hold Lord. you down, or hold you back yes. from where God has for you to go. Yes. Okay, we Woo. declare that in the name of Jesus, yes. the victory has already been won. Yes. understand something that natural people don't understand right. first of all we understand that we're not natural yes. we are supernatural yes. and the reason you and I can say that is because we have God's word on the matter yes. how many understand that we walk by faith and not by sight so you and I don't go by what it looks like going on around us. If we did, we'd be crawled up and balled up in somebody's back room somewhere, afraid to come out and see the world. But you and I are new creations in Christ Jesus. Oh, do I have a witness in the building today? He says, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creation. All things are what? Passed away. And behold, you and I can see that all things are become new. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and verse 18 says, and all things are of God. Yes. What does that mean, man of God? That means that, listen, whatever God said about you is true about you. Hey. If God did not say that about you, then it's not true about you. I don't think you heard what I just said. If you are one who is reconciled to God, yeah. your Bible says that you're a new creation and all things are of God. Yeah. And if someone or something on, is saying to you something that God didn't say about you, yeah. then it is not true about yeah. you. Even if it looks like a fact. How many understand that in the anointing, the Holy Ghost and the Word of God trumps facts? Hey, it overrides it. Yes. Although it may be a fact, it's not my reality. Hey, and so we have to understand this today because you and I are new creations. We are in the kingdom of God. You know why I'm telling you that? Because I need you to understand something today. Point number one is you have victory over sorcery. <laughs> I know that, that's a little heavy to start off with, but this is where we have to start because this is what we're going to do today. Amen. Okay. How many understand that in the kingdom of God and in the anointed Jesus, you have victory yeah. over dark arts, yeah. over 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 satanic appointments. Yeah. 
yeah. over the assignment of the enemy yeah. that would try to yeah. hinder the yeah. move of God in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show that to you in your Bible. Yeah. Okay, so turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 19 and we're going to begin the reading of the word of God at verse 8. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. See, because the Lord has been dealing with us over the last five weeks or so as it relates to the kingdom of God. And many of us know that uh, we've been preaching this since Resurrection Sunday, and we are uh, we are coming upon next Sunday, which is Pentecost Sunday. Amen. Amen. Where the Holy Ghost, Amen, Amen. Wow. it dwells yeah. man, wow. all man. Yes, <laughs> wow. Those that will receive Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Okay, we know the upper room. Amen. Yes, and the 120 got filled. Yes. Amen. And they had evidence. Yes. With what? Speaking in tongues. Yes. Amen. And prophecy broke forth. Yes. Amen. Things begin to happen in the earth. You and I were birthed out of this move. Yes, Amen. Holy Ghost feel. How many Holy Ghost feel folks yes. I got in the room today? Yes. 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 How many blood ball believers are in the building yes. today? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Okay. We had folks falling out in the Holy Ghost today. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Acts 19, verse 8. And so I'm going to read this, and then we're going to read this, and then I'm going to go back and say a few things to you about it. Acts 19, verse 8. He went into the synagogue, Paul. Paul went into the synagogue and spoke boldly. Everybody say spoke boldly. Spoke boldly for the space of three months, three months, 90 days, disputing and persuading the things concerning what? The kingdom of God. Okay? But when... Divers were hardened and believed not. Somebody say unbelief. unbelief. And believed not, but spoke evil of that way. Somebody say that way. that way. Okay, so I'm pointing these things out because I want you to underline them in your Bible because they mean yes. something. Okay, so if you're taking notes, I want you to underline, underline spoke boldly. Okay, if you're taking notes, I want you to underline persuade, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. Okay, so I need you to see that there. Okay. Uh, but when divers were hardened and believed not, okay, you underline that, unbelief, okay, but spoke evil of that way, not just any way, okay, of that way, before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the, by the space of two years, yes, Lord. so that all they which dwelt in Asia Heard the word of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say that with me. Say, heard the word of the Lord Jesus. Come on, say it again. Say, heard the word of the Lord Jesus. Okay, I want you to underline that right there. All those that were in that dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. My God. So that from his body yeah. were brought to the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them. Yes. That is glorious. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say that again. God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Yes. So that from his body yes. were brought to the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them. Yes. And the evil spirits <laughs> went out of them. Yes. Yeah. Are y'all paying attention to this? Okay. Yeah. Then certain of the vagabonds. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. Hey, then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them yes, to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. Yes. There were seven sons of one Siva, a Jew and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. Yeah. Paul, I know. Hallelujah. But who are, who are you? And the man in whom, oh my God, you missed a good place to just faint right there. Yeah. <laughs> the evil spirit wow. said, Jesus, I know. Wow. That's deep, Pastor. I'm supposed to just read this, but I need somebody to pay attention here. See, see, the devil don't got good sense, but he got some sense. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what the Holy Ghost said to me. He said he don't got good sense, 
but he got some sense. Why? Because right here, we have an example of the devil saying, Jesus, I actually know. <laughs> and Paul, I know him too. But who are you? For the devil got sense, he ain't got good sense. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. Right. Overcame them. Yeah. Yeah. See, because he didn't see the anointing. Yeah. So you gotta understand that. If that devil is the devil don't see that anointing, he ain't scared of you. Yeah. Right. So you gotta have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You wanna dry the devil out, you gotta rely on the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. See, these they were exorcists trying to do something they hadn't been called to do. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. I'm not trying to preach yet. Yeah. The spirit, was, uh, uh, the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them yes, and prevailed against them yes, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Yes, and this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all. Amen. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Now I want you to say that with me. Say, and the name. And of the, of the Lord Jesus was magnified. magnified. Say it again. Say, and the name, and the name of, the of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. I need you to pay attention to this. Many of them also which used curious arts. I need you to pay attention here. Many of them also which used curious arts brought their books together, burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. I want you to see here that the anointing or dark arts are no match for the anointing. Amen, yes. I right, need you to right. see here that when the anointing was at work and somebody tried it without the Holy Spirit, the Bible tells us that the name of the Lord was magnified. And Amen. all of those who were working in dark arts came and confessed yes. and turned it all over. Amen. Why is that important? Because I need you to understand today that the Son of God has been made manifest. Amen. That he would destroy the works of the devil. <laughs> I need Amen. you to understand this today. In the name of Jesus, Amen. by faith in who he is to you, Amen. by revelation of Jesus Christ, Amen. you and I, when we use the name, yes. have power over Amen. demons and devils, witches and warlocks, sorcery and dark arts. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, let me back that up. Look really quick at 1 John 3 and 8. Amen. Because you've got to understand something, people of God. The revelation of Jesus Christ is greater. Yes, yes, you, yes. you and I have to understand that the revelation of the blood of Jesus yes, is greater. Yes. You and I have to come into agreement today yes. that the kingdom of God is greater than every yes, force yes. coming up against Amen. you. Amen. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. You and I have to come into agreement Amen. that the word of God, word of God. is final authority yes. in our yes, lives. Yes, it is. You and I. Look at your neighbor and say, you and I. You and I. Look at somebody else and say, you and I. You and I. Say, we must come into agreement. Amen. That the name of Jesus yes. has more power than all works of darkness. That's right. That's right. Watch this. Look at 1 John 3 and 8. When you get there, somebody say, I'm there. I'm there. He that committed sin is of the devil. Yeah. For the yeah. devil sins from the beginning. Yeah. How many know he was none but a liar from yeah. the beginning? Yes. Okay. He says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might do what? To show, come on, what? Come on, the the works, works of the devil. Yeah. How many believe in the Son? of God. Yes, amen. How, many, how many believe yes, in the name of yes, Jesus? Amen, amen. How many believe in the word of God? Absolutely, how many absolutely. believe in the blood of Jesus? Yes, if that yes, is you, yes. the Son of God has been revealed to you to destroy all the works yes, of the enemy that would come against your life. Yes, 
That's right. That's right. Yeah. How many believe that? Yeah. That there is no principality or power or ruler of the darkness of this world or spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Yeah. None of those powers will be able to defeat you. Amen. Because yeah. you got the name that is above every name. Amen. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Father. How many believe that today? Amen. And so I want to. I want to. I want to give you my topic today, and I'll try not to be as long. As I normally am. Okay. But the, the topic today is the supernatural kingdom of God. Amen. The revelation that gets results. That's right. See, you and I are in the kingdom of God. That's right. That's and right. because we're in the kingdom of God, we've got revelation that gets results. Yes, amen. In other words, you and I obtain things that natural people do not obtain. That's right. That's supernatural right. things happen when we show up. Yes. You know one of the words of supernatural activity? Favor. Favor, yes. See, when you and I come into the room, favor enters in with us. You don't have to have money to get a car right now if you got a little favor. You and I can walk in divine healing. Why? Because God has favored us. You and I have to come into agreement about something. That nothing you've done in your past is prohibiting you from this anointing. Amen. Yes. You and I have got to come into agreement today, child of God, that nothing you've done, said, or, or thought about doing is hindering the progress that God has for you today. Amen. Amen. God wants to work miracles in your life. Yes, he does. See, I have to say these things. Why? Because the devil came against Jesus because Jesus was working miracles. Amen. That's right. When you That's study right. your Bible out, the Bible says the Pharisees put a council together to kill and destroy Jesus because of all the miracles they saw him doing. So instead of them turning their lives over to him, they chose to destroy him. And see, the reason that they are or tried to destroy him was because they had control. Amen. And see, sometimes people don't want to let go of the control. Right. See, that's what yeah. demons and devils yeah. do. They try to control regions and, yeah. and communities yeah. and cities and, and families and, and relationships. And you're not going to talk to me and try to control our children and all of these different things. But guess what? I came to tell somebody today that the Son of God was made manifest in your life can destroy all the works of the enemy. Amen. That's right. That's Somebody right. say I'm a kingdom citizen. I'm a kingdom citizen. Now see, you and I have to understand something today. The supernatural kingdom of God, the revelation that gets results. Point number one, something supernatural occurs wherever the kingdom of God is preached. All right. All right. Okay, you and I have to understand that today. Something supernatural occurs whenever the kingdom of God is preached. If you remember in Luke chapter 9, you're not going to go there. If you're taking notes, take these notes. Luke chapter 9, when Jesus preached about the kingdom of God, a healing service broke forth. And then Jesus said that because the day had gotten long, he said, everybody sit down. And if you remember the feeding of the 5,000, how many remember the feeding of the 5,000? Yes. Okay, I want you to understand that the kingdom was preached before that occurred. Yeah. Okay, so wherever you see the kingdom of God preached, supernatural things occur. Amen. If you remember in Matthew 12, and I want you to write these things down. Matthew 12, Luke 11, when Jesus healed the blind, healed the dumb, and drove the devil out, and the Pharisees came up against him. He said, if I cast out the devil by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come to you. All right, all right. Now watch this, because it says something a little bit different in Luke 11. In Luke 11 and 20, if you're taking notes, just write it down, you don't have to go there. He says, if I cast out the devil by the finger of God. Amen. So I need you to have this today. See, the spirit of God and the finger of God are used in scripture interchangeably. But when we study it out all the way back to the time of Moses, what we found is that the finger of God represents the supernatural ability of God. And see, you and I have to come into agreement. When the kingdom of God is preached, supernatural things occur. That's right. That's right. We have multiple examples. Matthew 4, 23 tells us that Jesus taught and preached the kingdom of God. Amen. And when that occurred, the Bible tells us that many people got healed of all sickness. Yes. And all manner of disease. Amen. Yes. And see, we have to have revelation of scripture so that you won't declare that you're sick. 
Amen. Oh, I need somebody to listen Amen. to the preacher today. Yeah. The Bible says, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, I need you to hear this today. You and I, are have, we have to come into agreement that we can't declare we're sick. Yeah. Right. Oh, I know that's touching right there. Uh, but I am, I feel it. It's this, it's yeah. that. I know, but as a new creation in Christ Jesus, we're not to say it. That's right, that's right. That's See, one of the things we learn is you've got to learn how to say something else. One of the things we learn is you got to adjust your language. That's right. That's adjust right. Adjust how you talk. Yes. You yes. can't say everything that the world is saying. That's right. I'm going to prove right. it to you. Look yes. at Isaiah 33. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to listen. Somebody get ready to get delivered from sickness right now. Amen. You know why? Amen. Because sickness is in your mouth and you have to drive it out. Yes. The yes. thing that's holding you down is not the thing itself, but it's what you're saying about it. That's right. That's oh, right. I know. I know that stepped on some toes right there. But, but listen, we, we have to come into agreement. That's right. But listen, I'm going to only say what the Word of God says about my situation. Watch this. Let me show it to you. Go to Isaiah 33. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay. Because I haven't started preaching yet. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 33, 24. When you get there, somebody say, I'm there. I'm there. And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. Okay, you didn't know that. Listen, that was in your Bible before you walked in today. See, maybe you never read that before, but listen, how many know that you're an inhabitant of the kingdom of God? Amen, amen. How many know that you are in Christ Jesus? Yeah. Okay, so then this word applies to you. The Bible says the inhabitants shall not say I'm sick. That's the right. people that dwell therein shall be what? Forgiven their iniquity. You have Amen. to understand this, child of God. When you come into the kingdom of God and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, not only does he heal you, but he also forgives you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. See, see, you and I have to come into agreement on this because many times people are haven't forgiven themselves even though they're saved. Yes, that's right. Even though you believe in Christ Jesus, you haven't forgiven yourself from what you did 15 decades ago, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, last week and last month. God wants somebody to understand your deliverance is in your confession. Yes, yes. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. I know somebody is getting this right now. Listen, your deliverance is in what you say about yes, yourself. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do you remember the Bible says in Mark 11, he says, he said, Jesus answered and said unto them, have faith in God. Yes. Whosoever shall say, go to Mark 11. Yes. Go to Mark 11. Amen. Amen. I can't assume that you know this. Yes. That'd be a disservice. Yes. I just feel like preaching. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on. We're listening. But somebody needs to hear me today. Amen. Okay? Somebody's about to get free. Amen. Somebody just found out that all the witchcraft that they know other people have been saying about them and over them don't have power. Over That's them. right. That's right. Somebody just found out right now that every curse word that such and such said about their life has no power over yes, them. Yes, that's right. No power. Somebody just no power. found out that another person can put sickness on them. That's right. Somebody just that's right. found out that there's more power in the blood of Jesus than every lie that's been spoken that's over that right. situation. That's right. Everyone. Yes. Yes. More powerful. Somebody came in not knowing that, but guess what? You know today. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. And your Bible says in Hosea that my people perish oh, yeah. for a lack of what? Knowledge. So if you didn't know it, that's why it was going on. But now that you know it, guess what? I'm coming out. What did Jesus say? He said, whom the Son may free is free indeed. How many are free today? Oh, I got about two and a half people watching me live in here in the room. How many are free today? See, all the most See, your Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Liberty or liberation or freedom to do what? Express that you love the Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father. We do. We do love him. Yes. Lord. 
The Son has made you free. I need somebody to hear that today. The Son has made you free. No more bondage. No more shackles. No more chains. I am free. Free. Oh, see, no, 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 no. See, see this got to be a reality to you. See, you can't come in here and, and fake it till we make it. See, if you try to fake it till you make it, that's when you get caught up. That's right, that's right. But what God is saying today is if we allow this word to come into our hearts. Yes, yes. Then natural shackles will have to come off. Yes, amen, that's right. Natural that's right. chains will have to come, come off. off. Yeah, I need you to listen to me today. Ah, the name of Jesus. I've said this several times. But the men and women of God that have turned their lives behind bars, God has set those individuals free. Yes, they got yes, free on yes, the inside, yes. and then they got free on the outside. Amen, amen. I came to tell somebody today, it doesn't matter what you're dealing with. Your God is a way maker. That's right, that's right. Your God that's is right. a miracle worker. That's right, that's Your right. Your God is light in the darkness. Yeah. Your God is weary of the valley. Your God is bright and morning star. Are you with me today? But the Bible says in Mark 11, have faith in God. Yes. Look at verse 23. He says, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever... Yeah shall say yeah. unto this mountain uh -huh. yes. mountain of what mountain of lack yeah. right mountain of bondage yeah. that's right mountain of sickness yes yeah. mountain of depression yeah. Yeah. mountain yeah. of oppression yeah. Yeah. mountain of lies yeah. Yeah. mountain of slander yeah. Yeah. mountain of mishap yeah. mountain of misfortune yeah. Guess what? My God is a healer. Yeah. I came to tell somebody today that the God that I serve will remove mountains in your life. Yeah. You can just lift up your hands and say, Glory! Glory, glory, glory! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory! Look at your neighbor and say, I'm a whosoever. I'm a whosoever. Come on, find somebody else sitting across the room and say, I'm a whosoever. I'm a Oh, 
things are become yeah. you. Yeah. And all things are of God. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Because I've been reconciled yeah. to yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I received the word and the ministry yeah. of reconciliation. Yeah. I am now an ambassador of the word of God. I am now an ambassador of the kingdom of God. Yes, amen, amen. Yes. See, see, when you understand these things, you stop allowing people to talk foolishness. Because yes. yes. when they come out the book, it's foolishness. Yes, that's right, that's right. That's right. You teach it good, did y'all get something right there? Yeah. Okay, Amen. Let's try this one more time. See how it goes. Yeah. I mean you well. <laughs> Somebody say I got the truth. I got, I got the, the truth. truth. Hallelujah. Oh. Preach it. Preach it. I know they say Paul Pierce was the truth because he played basketball. He was good, but I got the real truth. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Jesus answered and said to them, "Have faith in God." For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, somebody say I'm whosoever, I'm a whosoever, shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast removed. into the sea. Yes, cast into the sea. Yes. Now, now, now watch the important part, and and do and shall not doubt in his heart. Yes. So, yes. so your promise coming to pass has nothing to do with what other people say. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The desire of your heart or there being no doubt in your heart is more important than public opinion. Amen. Amen. Why? Because they can't stop your destiny. Yeah. They can't stop nothing God's telling you to do. That's right. That's right. Oh, my God. I need you to listen to me. I was, I was just reading a, a, a book called uh, Faith, Foolishness, and Presumption. Yeah, that's what's called. Okay, it's a book written by Dr. Fred Price. How I many know Dr. Yes. Fred Price? Yeah. 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 In the book, he says, listen, when you got faith in God, now this are, these are his words in his book. That's true. He said, it didn't matter if gasoline went up to ten dollars a gallon. Yes, sir. Yes. Now oh, I said, My God, Dr. Price, you a prophet, man. <laughs> because this book was written so long ago where he was talking about buying a house. With five hundred dollars down. Yes. I need somebody to listen. Y'all understand what I'm saying yes. right now? Yes. yes. But he also spoke about it didn't matter if gas prices went up to ten dollars a gallon. If you got faith yes. in God, yes. he'll put gas in your tank. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 He'll give you the money for the down payment for your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's about you having, and you and I having faith in God. Yeah, yeah. Not faith in ourselves. Right. Not faith in our own ability. Right. Not faith in our own intellect. Yeah, but I'm talking about yeah. faith in God. Yeah. I'm talking about you and I acting on what we say we believe. Yeah. Oh, I need to talk right there. I said you acting on what we say you believe. Yeah, that's right. That's you say you believe in Christ Jesus, yeah. then do what he's saying to you. Yes, amen, amen. Yes, yes. Jesus. Amen. That's a word I say. Amen. Why? See, see, if it was just about you, then you know, you know, listen, how many know that you need the Holy Ghost to overcome doubt. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. See, how many understand you need the Holy Ghost to over, overcome unbelief? Yes, that's right. Why? Because you're living in the realm of the natural even though you're supernatural. That's right. You, that's you, right. you see, we have to come out of going by what we can touch taste or feel, feel. or see with yeah. our natural extremities. Yeah. You and I are faith walkers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Faith talkers. Yeah. Yeah. And see, because you have been born again, yes. you yes. actually are living from the oh. inside out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So oh. you and I have to come into agreement today amen. that in the Holy Ghost, we remove all doubt. Yes. Amen. amen. He says you shall not doubt. Yes, in your heart. Yes, he said, but shall believe yes, that those things yes, which he says yes, 
shall come to pass. Now, pay yes. attention right here yes. because you have to understand it matters what you say. Right, right. Yes. Okay, is the word true? Yes. Yes. Is it true or is it not true? Yes. True. Is true. the word final authority or is it not final authority? Final authority. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. Okay, then it matter what you say. That's I know it's quiet in the building. That's all right. Yeah, say, say I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Say, I'm delivered. I will no longer let my mouth hinder my own project. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Well, I can't do this. I can't do that. They won't help me do this. They won't help me do that. Jesus, they listen. Every time the, the water is troubled, somebody else beats me to it. But Lord, what am I going to do? Matter of fact, check this out by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pick up your bed and walk and be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't have nobody to help me. Listen, you got the comforter on the inside of you. You got yes. your help. Thank you, Lord. If you need transportation, oh, call on it. Oh, amen, amen. Oh, somebody, I'm talking to somebody today. I'm all the way off script. If you need transportation, you need to call for it. Amen. That's right. Call for it. You need financial favor, you need to grab the word of the Lord and declare it. Amen. That's right. That's right. Put it to work. Amen. Got you. Why? Because you're not having faith in yourself. That's right. That's you're right. having faith in God. Yeah. Yes. So it matters what you say. Yes, it does. It matters. Look at somebody say it matters. It matters. Okay, watch this. I'm, I'm, we're just rolling. <laughs> shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall what? Come to pass. He shall have what? Come on. Whatsoever he, he says. says. Verse yes. 24, watch this. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever what? You desire when you what? Pray. Believe that you what? Receive. And you shall what? Have it. How many believe Amen. that? Today? Amen. Yes, I do. How many believe that you get what you pray about? Yes. How many believe you get the desires of your heart yes. when you pray? Yes. Yes. How many Amen. believe that God has answered your call before the yes. prayer went up here? Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not even getting back over there. Yes, sir. All right. Let, let, let's, let's go to Matthew. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all give me about seven minutes, and I'm going to wrap this up today. Thank you. All right. Praise the Lord. Great job. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Go to Matthew 12 and 33. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. So, so here's that text we talked about in the kingdom of God where Jesus said, if I by the spirit of God drive out a devil, then the kingdom came to you. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and the Pharisees got upset. Am I right about it? Yeah. Okay. And when they got upset about it, they began to compare him to Beelzebub. Okay, the prince of devils. Yeah. Okay, and Jesus said, listen, if you come against me, you can be forgiven. But if you come up and blast in the Holy Ghost, that right there will put you in connection with eternal condemnation. Yeah. Right, right, right. Are you with me right here? Yeah. Okay, and so this gave Jesus a revelation. My uh -huh. God. Yeah. Yeah. I need to make sure somebody understands this today. Right. In some of the toughest places of your life will come some of the greatest revelations of your life. Yeah. Right. Wow. I need somebody to listen. See, so you got to understand some people of God. It's going to be in your crying moments where God speaks to you the loudest. You're not listening. It is in some of the times where you feel like nobody can hear you and nobody knows what you're going through. I came to tell somebody today, in those moments, listen for his voice. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, the God I serve don't speak. Yes. I'm telling you right now, I've seen it happen in my own life. Yes. 
The God we serve will speak. In some of your toughest moments, some of your most kindest moments, some of the greatest moments of despair to ever hit your life, if you will just begin to listen with your spiritual ears, God will give you the way out. See, see, Jesus was not moved by adversity. See, when they told him that, that he was working with something else, he said, listen, that right there will cost you your salvation. Blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Then he came with a revelation. Look at Matthew 12, 33. Either make the tree good and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Now, if, you, if you're taking notes, I want you to notice here, he compares trees to people. Right. He is seeing spiritually. Mm, mm, mm. He is seeing men as trees. He's seeing trees as men. Your Bible says, either make the tree good and his fruit good. Are you paying attention right here? Okay, he says, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. See, the anointing is a fruit inspector. <laughs> That's true. That's true, Pastor. For real. See, in the Holy Ghost, he's looking at your fruit. Oh, I need somebody to listen right here. See, 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 see. That's why it matters what comes out your mouth. Because what comes out your mouth is what bears fruit in your life. Oh, you need to listen to me. I'm talking real strong right here. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, right, long, suffering, on and on. Am I right about it? But listen to me here. One of the revelations that God has ministered to us is if you're going to have the fruit of something, you must sow the seed of something. Y'all now listen. Did y'all check out already? Listen, if you want love, you have to sow love. If you want finances, you gotta sow finances. Are you listening to me here? See, Jesus was able to see into the realm of the spirit and say, check this out. I'm listening to your mouth and it's not bearing good fruit. So check this out. Either make the tree good or it's fruit good, or make the tree corrupt, and it's fruit corrupt. But guess what? You're going to you be known by your fruit. Wow. See, wow. see you, don't have to, you don't have to say nothing. Oh, my God. Jesus! Oh, oh, my God. I need you to understand this here. I need you to understand this. See, your faith is evident. Not by what you say, but by your fruit. I don't have to, you don't have to, listen, you don't have to tell nobody you love Jesus. If you do, it will be known by your fruit. Oh, you're not talking to me today. Oh my God, you say that you're anointed. If you're anointed, you don't have to tell me you're anointed. It'll be known by your fruit. Oh my God, I need you to listen today. Amen. You're teaching. Watch this. Watch this. Because we need this. You're teaching. I don't need this. Well, you showed up today, so you must do. See, listen. It, listen. It, listen. In the kingdom of God, it has to matter how we talk. Amen. Do y'all remember? Y'all remember when Peter, Jesus told Peter, listen, before the cock crows three times, listen, you're going to deny me. Y'all remember that? Okay, y'all remember how he was over there by the fire trying to warm his hands while Jesus was on trial? And somebody said, you look like one of the Galileans. He said, no, I'm not one of them. 
Right? And then he went somewhere else and he denied again. And then on the third time, he started cussing. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. Yes, he did. He did. He did. He did. Why? See, when you hanging out with the with Jesus, you don't sound like it. And see, he had to start talking different and start saying other things so that he wouldn't identify with the anointing. But you and I have come into the understanding because we're hanging out with the Holy Ghost. We're going to talk like Jesus. We're going to walk like Jesus. We're going to act like Jesus. Amen. 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 I am known by my fruit. Y'all with me here? Yes. All right, I promise I'm almost done. Good Amen. Good preaching, sir. Can you like Excellent preaching. Six minutes. <laughs> six and a half minutes. Praise the Lord. Watch this. Oh, generation of vipers, how can you be able to speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure. Are you? Are you still here? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Am I boring you? No. Oh, I've got a chest. No. Never, never. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart brings forth what? Good things. An evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth what? Evil things. But I say to you that every idle word or inoperative okay, or you know, words that are empty. See, this is why we have to listen. We, see, see, when God made us, he didn't make us just to say anything or just loosely. See, when he made you, he made your, he gave your, you the ability to, to, to create. So it matters what you say because with whatever you're saying, that's what you're creating. Amen. That's right. That's right. So it matters that we don't just speak loosely. You heard the term loose lips. That's right. That's right. What does it do? Sing ships. Sing ships. Sing ships. Yeah. That's what they say. So this is why, listen, look at somebody and say, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Okay, I'm almost done. I say you every out of word that they should speak, they should give a count the rest of the day of judgment. Watch this. For by thy words, you shall be what? Justified. And by your words, Thou shall be what? Condemned. So again, it matters what you say. Now, I want you to pay attention here. Jesus sees men as trees. Am I right about it? Okay. I'm going to hit a couple places. We're going to close. Go to Isaiah 61. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love that verse. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, he's hanging out with us today. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's in our midst right now. Yes, He's been talking to somebody since they sat down. I just got that off the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Somebody say anointed vessels. Anointed vessels. Uh-huh. I'm declaring to you that the Holy Ghost just told me I'm an anointed vessel. Amen. Yeah. You want to declare over yeah. your life, I'm an anointed vessel. I'm an anointed vessel too. Yes, I am. <laughs> Somebody say called of God. Oh, God. Say for miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Watch this. Isaiah 61, watch this. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Amen, yes. Yes, it is. Somebody should have ran right there. Hey! Hallelujah. See, that's why I said, see, we, we, listen, let's not be normal. Let's not be a normal church. Yes, yes, yes. Let's be, let's be, let's be abnormal. Okay? That's right. Let's, 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 let's be wild and crazy about Jesus. Let's be, oh, thank the Lord. Let's, you, know, you, know, they, you, know, you know what they call it out there? Well, they call it being extra. So let's be extra. Why are you doing that? Why are you being extra? You know why? But God is extra good. Because God is extra caring. Because God is extra loving. Because God is extra all day long in my life. There is nothing normal about the God that I serve. My God is extra. So if He extra, I'm extra. Somebody say miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes.
signs and wonders. Miracles, signs and wonders. Okay, I need to read and then we're going to close. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He sent me to bind up the broken heart. And somebody say, my heart is healed. My heart is healed. He said to proclaim the liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Somebody say, I'm free. I'm free. Verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Somebody say, favor is on my life. Favor is on my life. And the day of vengeance of our God. Somebody say, God has vindicated God me. God has vindicated me. He says, to comfort all that mourn. Somebody say, it is well with the righteous. It is well with the righteous. Verse 3, he said, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them, to give unto them beauty for ashes, yes. the oil of joy for mourning, yes. the Amen. garment of praise Amen. for the yes. spirit of yes. heaven. Yes. That they might be called what? The trees of righteousness. Yeah. I need you yeah. to see this here. In the Holy Ghost, God sees you as a tree of righteousness. Yes. Yes. Are y'all with me here? Yes. The person of the Lord that they, that he might be glorified. I am almost done. Go to Mark chapter 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost done. Watch this. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders. Say it again. Say miracle Miracles. signs and wonders. Wonder. Are happening to me now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Watch yeah. this. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> How do you know who I've been hanging out with? Yeah. I got it. I got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark 8, verse 22. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't do nothing around here. Praise God. I'm telling you, I listen. I listen. I'm done here. But listen, we've been hanging out. With Rama Church. Uh -huh. And Rama Church is Kenneth Hagin's church. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, we've been hanging out yeah. in his church. Yeah. We've been cutting on, going on live yeah. on the internet and pulling up the old Rama Church yeah. services. Yeah. 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 And that yeah. thing is, yeah. Yeah. man, it'll do a Holy Ghost yeah. shift yeah. in your praise yeah. and worship. Yeah. Y'all with me here? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm about to wrap it up. Mark 8, 22. And he came to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man to him and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. How many know sometimes when you work in a miracle, you got to get away from folks? Yeah. Yeah. Right about yes, that. yes. That's because listen, you, you, listen, God wants you to have faith for what it is you have. Amen. Yes, yes. Okay? And if sometimes if there's too many people around, you can't think for yourself. That's right. That's right. Even though the anointing is standing in front of them. Are y'all with me there? Yes. Took the blind man by the hand, led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, I'm not going to let y'all spit on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not spitting on me. Well, God said I'm supposed to spit on you. No, he didn't. <laughs> when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands on him, he asked him if he saw anything. And he looked up and said, What? I see men as trees walking. I need y'all to pay attention, man. Amen. I'm wow. taking y'all into the realm of the spirit, man. Wow. Listen, God sees all the way on the inside. Yeah. And he will allow you to begin to see things supernaturally. Yeah. This is how you and I are going to birth miracle signs and wonders. Yeah. Because yeah. he gives you this spiritual sight, my God. Yeah. It's going to change your outlook on things. You're going yeah. to begin to bear good fruit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He says, after that, he put his hands again on his eyes yeah. and made him look up. And he was restored. restored. Amen. And Amen. saw every man clearly. Yes. Yes. Amen. I want somebody to hear this today. Play something soft for me, man, God. I want you to hear this today, people of God. God seeks to restore us. 
He seeks to work miracles in our lives. Yeah. Okay. How's he going to do that? He's going to help us adjust our conversation. Yes, amen. He's going to help us remove doubt that's been in our hearts. Amen. He's going to help us understand that we're not who we used to be. Yes. That's right. That's He's going right. to help us to see even the blind man. Listen, he no longer had to be blind. Amen. That's right. And today somebody needs to understand that, listen, God says, listen, I once was blind, yes. but now I right. see. Right. 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 He no longer wants you to live and walk in darkness. That's right. He came with the good news, hey. which is the light of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so I want to give us an opportunity to pray today. And so we're going to pray in agreement today. That listen, God's going to cause our fruit to be good. God is going to cause Amen. us to walk in the light. God is going to restore us. God is going to cause you to begin to walk in the supernatural. You and I are to come into agreement today for miracles, for signs, and for wonders. Yes, I'm yes. If you are believing God for jobs and better jobs, businesses, money coming to yes, you. Yes. Oh, listen, having the heart of Christ to love your enemies, my God. To love the unlovable. To love those who hate you and those who are despising of you. I need you to lift your holy hands today. And I want you to pray in agreement with me that God is restoring your heart. He's restoring the breaches. Everywhere the enemy has poked a hole in your situation, I want you to lift your holy hands today because God yes, said, I am yes, restoring yes. you. I am doing a new thing in your life. I am Amen. causing the dead to God live again. I am name. causing everything that has went wrong to be turned around in your situation. I need yes. you to lift up holy hands. Yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I give you the praise today. Father, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, I need you. Stand to you. Come on, let's stand. Come on, let's stand. Come on. Come on, let's stand. Come on. Come on, let's stand. Come on. Come on. If you believe in the Holy Ghost, if you pray in the Holy Spirit, come on, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, if you pray in the understanding, I want you to begin to pray in the understanding. Come on, right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Come on, every prayer warrior in the room. Both of you that are filled with the Holy Spirit, I want you to begin to talk in your heavenly language. Come on, Rima Vakata In the name of Jesus. Come on, 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 invoke the anointing. Invoke the Holy Spirit. Come on, you've heard the word of the Lord today. Come on, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are safe. Come on, lift up your voice today. In the name of Jesus. Come on, in the name of Jesus. 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 The Holy Ghost, the Comforter, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Come on, lift up your voice today. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Father, we worship. Father, we Father, we decree and declare today. Our confessions have changed. I will no longer say that I'm sick. I know that I'm forgiven. I'm not who I used to be. I'm a new creation in Christ. I am what the word of God says that I am. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up holy heads today. 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 Come on, begin to pray. Come on, I declare in the name of Jesus. If you lift up your voice to your father, he will hear you. The Holy Spirit has come today to minister strength into your situation. Come on, lift up holy hands. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. In the name of Jesus, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. On my soul. And all that is within me. Yes. I bless your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who heals thy disease? Who forgives thy iniquity? Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive today the healing and anointing. I receive all oh, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Just the holy name. Yes, I receive yes, today the healing grace of Christ Jesus. I receive today. That my body is healed. My heart is healed. My yes, body Lord. is healed. Yes, my physical body, my God, has lined up with the will of God. My heart has been missing. 
My heart has been restored. Yeah, in the yeah, name of Jesus. Yeah, I am a tree of righteousness. Yeah, yeah. If the sun therefore makes me free, I'm free yeah. indeed. Yes, in the name yeah, of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I decree and I declare today. The thoughts of the righteous are right. Yeah. So a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. Father, I think my thoughts. In the name of Jesus, yes, Father, I pray yes, today Lord. that yes, my Lord. mind lines up with the will of God. I renew my mind to the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, come on, I need you to lift your holy hands right here. I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. See it, I see it, I see it. Yes, Lord. For the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God. To the pulling at the throne of Casting out vain imagination in every high that lifts itself against the Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're getting ready to close. Hallelujah. But if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to come to the altar today. If you know that you need to rededicate, listen, nobody's trying to point anybody out. Everybody starts from somewhere. There's no one that comes into the kingdom a hundred percent. Many times our hearts are broken. Many times we've been abused. Many times we have been taken advantage of. Many times we have felt abandoned and lost and, 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 and act as though nobody cares. This is your invitation today. Amen, amen. God sees on the inside of you. He said, I see men as trees walking. Jesus said, either make the tree good and it's fruit, it is fruit good. He sees on the inside of us. So if your heart is broken, listen, the altar is open. And if you, if you listen, and maybe it's none of those things, maybe all is well, but you just need someone to pray in agreement in the area of finance, in the area of favor. In the area of God's mercy. Yes, in the area yeah. of God's love toward you. I want to give you the opportunity. Just as my arms are open, God's arms are open. Yes, they open. are. Yes, yes. I have to make this invitation. This spiritual food is better than the natural food. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is better. I, I know we wait to go get in line and all those good things. But listen. It's an opportunity. Uh, it's an yeah. opportunity. Yes, Lord. Yes, it's an opportunity. Lord. This is your opportunity. Come on. Come on. You know you haven't lived in the best way you can. Come on. Come on. There's someone here. We have men and women of God trained to stand in agreement with you. For whatever it is you need in your life. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. It's an open invitation. It's an open invitation. Hallelujah. There's an open invitation. Hallelujah. Don't pass up the opportunity to come to the kingdom of the Lord Jesus. Don't miss the opportunity to make a change today. Don't miss this opportunity to make it right before God. Don't miss this opportunity to make a life change today. A change of direction. A change of heart. A change of mind. He said, I'm here for you. I love you. There's nothing better than God's love. God says, I love you. That's where we got that term from. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Because God loves you. And really, there is nothing you or I can do about it. Welcome him into your heart. Come on, lift the holy hands. Come on, welcome him. Come on, welcome the Holy Spirit. We're almost done. Come on, welcome him. Come on, welcome him. Come on, welcome him. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We invoke your presence today. We thank you for your word. Thank you for loving us so dearly. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us. Thank you, Lord, that he rose on the third day for us. Thank you, Lord, that he ascended and is seated on the right hand. 
Thank you, Lord, that we were with him throughout the whole time. Thank you, Lord. We receive Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Father, I bless your holy name. Father, we worship you in the beauty of holiness. Father, we receive eternal life in the name of Jesus. Father, we magnify you today. The name of the Lord is magnified. Devils are driven out. Sicknesses are driven out. Depression is driven out. Headaches, fevers, chills, pains in our physical bodies we declare that they're driven out. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I receive forgiveness of the past. Come on, pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for forgiving me. Lord, I thank you for delivering me. Lord, I thank you for strengthening me. Thank you for your compassion, Lord. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your adoring me. We adore your presence, Father. We adore you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, dwell within us. Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Come on, 30 seconds. Come on, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Father, we praise you. Our sins are forgiven. We receive the remission of sins today. Brother James. I see the power of God on you. I God to pray right now. Hey, it's too silent in here. Listen, so, oh, I need somebody to pray. Come on, take it serious. Lord, to mistake. In the name of Jesus. Hey, I, I can feel the power of God on me. I can feel the power of God. Jesus. Hey.
Watching this be a large stream. We love you. God bless you. Have a supernatural day in the Lord. God bless. Bye-bye. Amen.